couple of horses. Yeah, I'm used to. I need a real good ride. Let's get some good points, too. Get up the point stand again. <laughs> Right, Dale. That boy's got the makings of a real cowboy. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of, Bishop. It's all he talks about. Does that bother you? The boy grew up ranching. Well, ranching's one thing, but he's got his mind set on going with rodeo. I hope you finish school and go on a mission. But he doesn't see it your way. Nah, he don't see anything my way anymore. I wish I could shape his life as easy as you do that wood carving. It's kind of the same thing, really. Every piece of wood is a new problem. I just look at it and imagine what the finished carving will look like. Then I start to cut. Sounds easy. Figure it out yourself. What's your material? My son. Your goal is to help him realize his potential in life. OK, what are your tools? How do you use them? Well, that's where I fall down. I don't have any to speak of. You got one big one, time. Use it. You got your ranch, as good a school as Tom will ever attend. You've got home evenings, you got the priesthood. You even teach Tom's priesthood class. Now, I'm glad you brought that up, since you're the president of the Ironic Priesthood. I've been meaning to talk to you about that. George, I'm no teacher, and all the material in the world is not going to change that a bit. Now, look. You think I could carve first time I took out a knife? I split wood, broke blades, even drew blood before I learned. Hey, yes. hey that's a great ride. I really enjoyed that. Thank yeah. you. So good. Hundred miles this time, when I was about 17 Look years old. Just that's half my priesthood class. They never listen to me like that. He obviously knows his subject. Look how he presents it. Enthusiasm. Eye contact. Yeah. He's not reading out of a book. <laughs> Little humor. He knows how to dramatize, make a point. And he makes full use of instructional materials. Sterling silver, too. You know, most of What's so funny? I was just thinking back to the days when we were both deacons. And I was the one that was always in trouble. Far back as I can remember, you've been trying to teach me one thing or another. <laughs> yep. And you're still learning. Yeah. Well, I got these spurs, I got the buckle and everything. It's really been a great experience. I got a lot of it home, you know. Good I'm rides, good. huh? Thanks. Yeah, I was proud. Boys, Dad, Bishop, this is Cash Collins. Cash? Pleased to meet you. It's a pleasure. I've watched you ride often. Thank you. That boy of yours is a real natural, you know? Pretty near ready for the big time. Well, I don't know. I'm hoping he'll turn his mind something inside the rodeo. Dad thinks I ought to go on with school. Uh, parents all think that. Me, I'll have Tom to go to rodeo in. 
I ain't never been sorry. Come and help me, boy. Sure. Hey, Tom. I thought we were going to walk over and take a look at the livestock exhibits. Well, Dad, you go ahead. I want to watch Cash ride the saddle bronc. I'll be along later. Looks like a plain case of hero worship to me. Yep. Bishop, what do you do about a knot in the wood? Depends. Carve around it or use it. Sure is a nice lot of livestock today. Too bad raising a boy is not as easy as raising a prize bull. Quit worrying. I know it's hard to raise a boy. It's hard to do anything well. Just keep your goal in mind and reach. Keep teaching him. There you go again. I tell you, I'm no teacher. Ask Tom. Ask those boys at Rough House through my class every Sunday. Dale, you were called to that priesthood job just like you were called to the job of raising a son. And the Lord made it doubly difficult when your wife passed away. But he knew you could handle the assignment. I don't know. Those boys deserve better. Meanwhile, they got you. So get better. Too many of you teachers forget you're not alone in your responsibility. I've been independent all my life. I guess I just don't know how to ask for help. You've got plenty of support through the supervision program, ward officers, librarian, you're in service leader. If you'll just call on them. Still, I'm the guy that's gonna put the message across. Let them help you. You really think that the library and everything would help that much? You bet. Be well prepared. Add a little variety and enthusiasm. That means a lot. Yeah? Try it, okay? You know, it might even help you communicate a bit better with your boy. Hmm. Okay. And just remember, he's got to become his own man. And that may take a little giving on your part. Yeah. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Bishop. Right. Thanks. Bye. Oh, hi, Dad. I was just trying to clean up these spurs. Thought we were going to meet the livestock exhibits. Uh, sorry. Cash got to telling us about the old rodeo days, and I forgot the time. Hey, look what he gave me. I missed the money by one point. He said I deserved a prize for my ride. They were his. Read the inscription there. Best all-around cowboy. Buffalo Days Rodeo, 1958. I'd like to earn a pair of my own someday. Really earn them. Boy, that rodeo life is something. Very nice. Sorry you didn't win, but uh, you gave the crowd their money's worth. That's what Cash told me. He said I'd be a good addition to any rodeo. You know, Tom, you're not going to believe this, but uh, I had a long talk with the bishop, and he's almost convinced me I'm a natural-born teacher. I bet I'm good enough to compete in the calf roping, too. I'm going to check some materials over at the Ward Library, then I thought I'd uh, stop over by Ted Cutters. You know, uh, Ted's a teacher development director. Oh, yeah? 
Why don't you ride over with me? You can see Andy while I get Ted to give me some help. Well, I'd like to. But I told Cash I'd run to town and show him he can get his boots half sold in a hurry. Well, I'm sure he can manage that without you. Well, I want to ask him a couple of things, too. Anything I can help you with? Nah, what do you say? You know. I guess I wanted to travel the rodeo circuit when I was your age. Why didn't you? Oh, I got to thinking about what was really important in life. School, family, the church. Well, I'll think about those things, too, after I've made some big money. Sounds good. But somehow it doesn't work out. And you wind up like Cash. What's wrong with Cash? Well, he's a hard-bitten old cowboy with nothing to show for his life except a trailer and a few silver buckles. That's not true. He's practically a legend in the rodeo world. Well, the rodeo world is pretty small compared to the rest of the world. Yeah. And I suppose you're going to get into one of your boring lessons on eternity. Look, bringing you up by myself has not been easy. I admit I made some mistakes. But I'd be lying to both of us if I told you I approve of the way you're headed now. You're still my son. And you'll listen to me. I'll bet that's what Cash's old man said to him, too. Just before he ran away. Well, that sounds like a threat. What if it is? I don't like to be threatened. Well, I don't like to be treated like a child. I rode in that arena today against men, and I showed most of them up, too. One ride does not make a man out of you. Nothing ever will, as far as you're concerned. That's enough, Tom. You can think the rest of it over in your room. brings you to the Meeting House Library on a Saturday afternoon? Oh, just looking for a little help, I guess. Should have come by months ago. Well, now that you are here, uh, just don't forget where we are. How'd you know I was here? Well, I called your house, and they said you were working on files. So I thought I'd come by here before I went over to Ted Cutter's. Say, you seem determined. I'm gonna try. Are you certain you come to the right place? We've got everything you need. Movie projectors, overhead projectors, magazines, books, practically anything to help you teach a better lesson. Yes, sir, you sure have. Now, that's a good start. We've got enough Dad? materials. Well, Brian, excuse me. Dad, it's okay if I go back over the fairgrounds. I won't be too long. Yeah, just make it early. Priesthood tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. You sure get along well with your boy, Ted. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of him, all right. Now, let's take a look at some of these pictures, see how we might present them. You remember when Joseph Smith had his first vision? Now, Christ ordained his apostles by the laying on of the hands in much the same way as we do... as we do... What? Bishop! Come on in! You left this in my pickup. Thought you might need it. Oh, you shouldn't have bothered. I wasn't planning it. Wait a minute. This may be just a thing. For what? Well, believe it or not, I've been working on my priesthood lesson. Great. And this rope may just help me solve a, a problem, and I didn't know how to make this point. <laughs> Good. Oh, sit down, sit down. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> George, I'm glad you came by. I just don't know what to do about Tom. He and I just can't see eye to eye at all. It's the age. His or mine? Dale, I've known you a long time. You've been a good father, raised a good son. And he's got to show a little spunk now. Let you know that he can get along without you. After all, it won't be many more years before he has to. But you've made him aware of the proper goals. He'll be all right. I don't know. He's got rodeo fever, wants to hit the circuit. Is that what you quarreled about? I'd planned to work it out all differently. That was, that was my goal. And I wound up by sending him to his room. Relax. It'll all blow over. 
George, why don't you go up and talk to him? Maybe he'll listen to you. You mean he's still in his room? I saw his car heading toward town an hour ago. start out by finding Cash Collins. Good idea. Excuse me. S say, cowboy, mm. have you seen Cash Collins? Nope. Not since he fell off that big bronc this morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why don't we go around the back there? Yeah, maybe he's back here somewhere. All right. Hi. Any one of you fellas tell me where I could find uh, Cash Collins? I haven't seen him all evening. Somebody else was looking for him a few minutes ago. Some young fellow. Where'd he go? I don't know. Well, yeah. much obliged. You might check Cash's trailer. It's that green and white one right there. Thanks. Thanks. I think I'll wait out here. Tom? Where's Cash? I don't know. I'm waiting for him. What did you have to come for? Well, I came to take you home. But you're sure too big to tie up my whole way. I'll give you some advice that a very wise person gave to me recently. Decide on what you want to accomplish, son, and then take the steps that'll get you there. I had other things in mind for you, but if you really want to be a rodeo rider, be a good one. Just remember who you are and what you learned. Need any money? Right, and let me know where to send your saddle. And your room will always be waiting. Thing? I don't know. I guess I'm counting on him to do the right thing.
you boys are looking good this morning. I uh, want to welcome you all to my class. Uh, this morning, the lesson is going to be on authority. What is the need for authority? Now, what would you do if you were out driving and got caught in a radar trap by a meter man? <laughs> Baptism by immersion and the laying on of hands to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Okay, pass these papers around. We're going to have a little quiz today. Okay, guys, now, what do you think the purpose of this film was? Why did they make that point about authority? Now, you boys think about this for a minute. As soon as I get this rewound, I will discuss it. Okay, film strip right in there. In there, close that, shut the gate, hit the lamp, actuate. Daniel, Bishop, any word from Tom? Nope. You know, it's been almost three months now. Well, you're here anyway. I have to keep trying all these theories, don't I? So as you can see, as the film strips show, there are many different kinds of goals. Short-range goals like uh, making an A in English or uh, getting a Saturday job. Long-range goals like uh, college or career. You gotta reach up and grab that goal and bring it right into focus. And then, and then you know what you're going to have to do. Now you fellas, are you all planning on going on missions? Yes. Yeah. Now, for the past few weeks, we've been talking about different kinds of goals. Now, what about eternal goals? Let's say that the end of the rope I'm holding represents your lives up to this point. You haven't had to make a lot of big choices. It's pretty much been done for you. Uh, Andy, would you come up here, please? Just uh, hold that in there. Now. This strand represents the path back to the kingdom our Father in Heaven has prepared for us. There are a lot of other goals, other choices. Um, Paul, would you step up here, please? Three separate directions, and only one of them leads back to our Heavenly Father. Now, how can we be certain we got hold of the right end? Well, you have to decide on what you want to accomplish with your whole life, not just a little part of it. Paul? Sometimes you have to give up something you want real bad now in order to have something you know will mean more to you later. Okay, thank you. Why don't you boys sit down, please? Our dear Heavenly Father, blessed be thy name. Now it came to pass in the sixth year of the reign of the judges of the people of Nephi. There were no contentions nor wars in the land. Hi, Bishop. Hello. Hi. Bishop. Well, how'd it go today, Dale? All fine. Just finishing up before I leave. Heard from Tom? No. No, not a word. Of course, he never was much for writing letters. Takes after his dad, I guess. Cheer up. I've been hearing some very good comments about your priesthood lessons. Well, most of the credit should go to you. Finally got me to set some goals. Something I should have done a long time ago. That's the heart of the supervision program, Dale. Yeah. Got me to decide that the boys and I should listen to each other for a change. Hmm. Here, uh, I thought you should have this. My son. Thanks. It's a beautiful piece of work. You know, uh, all the time I was carving that, I kept remembering you, when you were Tom's age. 
I seem to recall uh, you had a few problems with your dad. Remember? Yeah, I sure do. But they eventually worked themselves out, didn't they? It's amazing what you can do with a few tools, isn't it? Yes. As long as you begin with the end in mind. Thanks, Bishop. made me keep you. He says he wishes his father had meant as much to him. It's not like earning silver spurs of your own. Doesn't matter. Not if there's something you want more. Besides, I can get them when I finish school. Dad, there's just so many things I want to say. Good to have you home, son. Good to be home. 